everyone, welcome to an another tutorial from VideoSchoolOnline.com. Today we're talking about creating panoramas with Photoshop. So this is part of my Art of Travel Photography course, um, or if you're watching this somewhere else, uh, while well, you're getting a great treat looking in on one of my lessons on how to create a, a panoramic image. So when you are out traveling and you're taking photos, sometimes you just need to uh, capture an entire scene in front of you rather than uh, just your, your wide angle can't uh, catch the entire photo uh, and you might need to take a couple and stitch them together. For example, here's an image of the sunset in Boracay and here's three images that I took and I wanted to stitch them together. Now I might have been able to step back, uh, zoom out even wider, and get this whole image in one shot, but by zooming in and taking three photos, I was able to get more detail, um, and by stitching together, I'll have an even more detailed photo than if I was just wider and took one photo. As you can see, when you're taking a panoramic image that you want to stitch together, so you're taking multiple photos, you want to make sure that they overlap uh, at least by a third of the photo. Um, you know, you can go less, but you want to have enough information uh, overlapping so that Photoshop can, uh, can stitch it together properly. So you can see that these clouds right here in the middle I still have those clouds over here in the second photo. And then these clouds right here, these boats in the water, the people in the water over here, they're still on the water right here and the sunset right here is still there. And so when you're taking photos, just keep that in mind that you want to have some overlap. Nowadays, people can shoot panoramic images with their iPhone, uh, like super easy, but I really think uh, you'll get better quality using a DSLR or even just a simple point and shoot. So how do you create the panorama? First, you want to know what images you are stitching together. So just know, for me, I have 348, 349, and 350. In Photoshop, whatever version you're using, you're going to go down to Automate and then Photo Merge. It's going to pop up with the dialog box. Uh, you can select one of these. Usually, I just select Auto. Click Browse to pick your photos, find your photos, mine are in here, they are 348, and you can preview on a Mac just by pressing uh, the uh, space bar, 348, 49, and 50, so I'm going to select those three, by selecting, pressing shift and clicking, or con command shift, clicking. So now they pop up here. Down here you'll see what you want to do, blend the images together, uh, geometric distortion correction, vignette removal. Uh, you can play around with those, but usually I just select blend images together. So now this is going to take a while, uh, a few, few seconds for it to stitch together. You can see it working. Um, basically it is reading each image, it is trying to figure out where to edit the images to align them. It does some quick work and now it is overlaid and now it will blend it together using masks uh, and now we have this really great panoramic image. So basically it, it kind of stretched this image, uh, the ones on the left and right, uh, to match the one in the center. And down here in your layers panel you'll see the different layers that it created and you'll see the mass that it created from the left, center, and right photos. So it's all blended together. It used information from all the images. You will notice uh, a few uh, problems with this photo because of the waves. Because if you're taking a standard, uh, uh, a, a typical photo, um, and you want to try to capture capture the panoramic image with that with the least amount of movement po possible across the number of photos that you take, and 
obviously that's hard when you have waves because even one second after you take one image, the waves have moved. Uh, so for me, I took the center image and then the one on the right, the waves had already come in. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work uh, to edit these waves to make them look more natural. But first I want to make sure that we have a good um, sized uh, canvas to work with. So first I'm going to, as long as they look alright uh, right here, I'm going to uh, merge the layers together. If you right, right click and, while you have them all selected, there is a merge layers option. So now it's just one. Then I'm going to take my uh, rectangular marquee tool and then select the area that I want to be in my panorama. So you might not want the whole thing. Uh, I want my sunset to be like in the center more. I might even make this a little bit smaller because um, I don't know if I want those people on the edge over there to be in it. Just want it to be the nature. So something like that looks really nice. Then I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go say file new. And it has taken the width and the height of my um, marquee selected. So it creates a new composition and paste it. So now we have this great panoramic image and typically this is all you have to do um, but for me I'm going to have to fix it up a, a little bit. So for these waves I can play around with uh, the clone tool. So over here I have the clone stamp, stamp tool. I'll make sure I have my layer selected. Decrease the size of my tool and then I'm going to with the clone stamp tool you have to press option or alt and click to make a selection and then you can kind of paint over the rest of your image. And I'm just going to try to blend these waves together so that it doesn't look like and take different parts of the wave so that it looks like it looks more natural basically connecting the waves. So something like this might help and you can see you can kind of get the picture get that get the idea of what I'm doing um, and it will take some time for me to uh, fix that but all, already those waves in the back look look better and if you never would have known um, that it was messed up you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice the waves uh, from the stitch being messed up. You can also uh, fix those before when these were three separate layers but the clone tool is an easy quick fix and there you have a beautiful panoramic, panoramic image easily uh, exportable I don't know if that's a word but you just can export or save it rather um, in Photoshop save it as JPEG uh, whatever image you want and you have a great great image so that's how you create a photo stitch a photo panoramic photo with Photoshop. Thank you for watching. If you want more lessons like this, check out videoschoolonline.com. Uh, you'll find free tips, tricks, tutorials, and more, all related to photo, video production, uh, creating just art, and living a great life. Um, and then if you sign up for my newsletter online at videoschoolonline.com, you'll get 50% off all of my online courses. So check it out. If you have any questions, please send me a message about uh, photo stitching and photo merging in Photoshop if you're confused. Otherwise, um, I'll see you in another lesson. Thanks for watching and have a great day.